Did you hear about Militech's new mobile radar unit on the border? No. Well, it's bad for smuggling, bad for the Aldecaldos, and definitely bad for me. I want to know what makes it tick, but I need to get my hands on it first. Snatch me that radar, and I will make sure you're well compensated. Details attached. The Badlands are a fragile ecosystem where each piece has an important role to play. My god, she she's ma she's making it seem like it's the mitochondriac, the cell in this case. Um, change one thing and the whole circle of life starts to unwind. Militech doesn't seem to understand and set up a whole operation to cement the borders. <laughs> They have a prototype mobile radar unit they use to track Aldecado transports currently moored at their latest outpost. We get our mitts on that. The Aldecados can reverse engineer themselves a jamming signal desi designed sorry, to beat the new Militech toy. Once those transports are invincible again, the ecosystem will be restored to balance. All right, do I have enough bullets for this? No, I do not. So I guess shanking will work just fine. Now, all I gotta do is get inside Melotech here. Let me see if I can turn this off. The last thing I need is for some war machine to blast my ass into the high heavens or the low hells. Damn, so many people. Can I just shimmy myself in? That's locked. Is there any way for me to go to the back? I'm just curious. This front is a little too heavy for my taste. What the fuck? Nah? Is there no opening in the back for me? That's pretty corny. Not even this little indent here. Keep firing, I God damn it! What the hell? Who are they shooting at? They're, they ain't shooting me, that's for sure. Turn off. Boom. Okay, so they're doing a practice firing range. That's cute. So while they go play with their little toys, I'm gonna actually try and sneak in. Oh, there's one up there. How did he not see me from there? He's really bad at watching. Honestly. Damn, can I do this quietly or nah? Alright, no one hasn't seen me yet, so that's a good sign. Fuck, who saw me? Nope, you didn't see me for shit. Leave me alone. Fuck. And I can tell he's coming over here too, just watching. Damn! I mean, all I need to do is sneak. Ooh. Alright, he hasn't seen me, so let me just sneak right here, right? Grab, and then just non lethal takedown. There you go. Not bad, right? Ooh, more goodies? I'll take that. I'll take this. I'll take that. Ooh. I'm good! Holy shit! 
I am so good. Now, question is, do I up? Oh, is he moving? Let me see if I can just crawl on through right here. Oh, I am so good. Look at this. I'm trying not to alarm any of these people, especially the robot soldiers. I feel like that would be a pain. Ooh, this is some, some Terminator shit here. Can I turn that off? Yeah, I could. Ooh, nice. So is it here somewhere? Oh. And that's a robot right there too. Is it asleep? I'm not trying to take a chance here. Fuck it. That's... What's up? Oh, fuck, they found the body. They found the body, but they don't know where I am exactly. Fuck. Is that the van? Yes, that's the van. Now all I gotta do is steal that van and I'll be Gucci. Ooh, I'm scared. Wait, you know what? Fuck it. Come on. Fuck, let's go. Get in, get in. Let's go, thank you. Oh my God, I'm doing it, let's go. Sorry, you guys. I have some place to be. Oh my god, that was effortlessly done pretty well. You know, my sneaking is definitely paying off. I didn't need to kill anyone. I didn't need to use any of my weapons. No one's chasing me, thank goodness. Right? No one's chasing me. Oh my god. This is a very good mission. I, I came a long way. I remember when I used to botch missions continuously because I just couldn't really do my little sneaky sneak action? My god, I have improved greatly. I'm really gonna miss this game though. High key. Because of the fact that, well... I noticed that there's not a lot of missions for me to do what, to do anymore. And I'm getting closer to just finishing up all of the side quests. Fantastic job, B. Beautiful, really. Thank you, thank you. My people are already tinkering with the radar. Militech is in for a little surprise. A job well done. Your payment is coming in hot. How hot are we talking? 14,000! Yo! That's, uh... That's definitely hot. Hey. I hear a war vet's barricade himself at home. Neighbors heard shots. Could be a cyber psycho. Figure out the sitch and keep me posted, okay? Best put on some walking shoes, cause getting to his house is a bit of a climb. Can't spy much from the bottom, but all the rockets got me thinking it's something big. Oh, come on. Is there any... Can I even open this door? And I already see some little mines, so let me just disarm these little shits. What is that?
This guy is so secluded, and yet he has so much bombs and mines. Wait a minute. Uh, so, there's a body over there. Dead, obviously. Shot with higher caliber rounds, most likely from a turret. What the hell? I see two dead bodies. Same thing, both of them were shot by the turret. How much do you want to bet these were hooligans that could not mind their business? Don't come here, there's no point. Russell's completely lost it. It's not safe here. I'm trying to be understanding. I know what he's been through. I even scolded our son for being selfish and trying to escape. Now I know he was right. Getting out is the only way. I can't even talk to Russell like a normal person anymore. Last week he laid new minds and forgot to tell me about them. One step in the wrong direction and that would have been the end of me. This house is starting to look more like a prison still at least in prison you know what to expect but here huh so i assume mother and son are dead and the hubby is somewhere here caution gas pipe explosive this game's giving me ideas on how to get rid of this guy. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! I should have never. Oh, Lord. Alright, Russell. Come here, bitch. Let's go. You got a few lucky shots. I give you that, but that's it. A few lucky shots. Fuck out of here. Oh, no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Where you at? What the hell? Fuck you, bitch. If you want me, come get me. Oh, man. This is horrible. Horrible. Let me run away. Shit. Woo! Woo! Okay. Okay. They can't follow me out here, so I'm safe. Let me text, uh, Regina. This is just crazy. Hold on, where's my phone? Uh. There you go. Let me just open messages, text Regina, what ha happened. The guy's dead. He must have had an interesting past to be that paranoid about security. Tried to make his own version of ice, but got one hell of a hot short cert instead. The family ran outside to see what was going on. The security system tripped, and well, guy went crazy after. Sad stuff. Poor Gunk was so afraid someone would zero him that he turned his house into a death trap. Too bad his family happened to walk into it. Wasn't much hope left for the guy anyway, but it's a shame his family had to go like that. Yep, a shame indeed. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make her drink. Now I've Sorry, I just have to disarm these things. Iris Tanner. For a year. Kind requests, the promise of good pay, none of it helped. Always the same response. I don't do biz fixers. But today she has changed her tune. And why? Why? She's been kidnapped by wraiths. Of course. Pettiness aside, if you help her, I bet she will finally toss me a bone. The gig details are attached. Go fetch V. Alright, let me see who I'm saving. Iris Tanner is the best tech specialist I've met in decades of living outside the city. Car broke down, trouble with water filters, a lying generator, call Iris and give her five minutes with it. Damn, she must be really good. 
One thing she's not great with, though, people. Reading them, at least. Foolish girl started doing biz with the rafts. Damn, what a dumbass. Making them angry is bad, sure, but making them happy is almost worse. Rather than just pay for a job well done, they kidnapped her instead. You ask why they kidnapped someone who's capable of putting out an SOS from a rickety old radio? I, Dakota, Mad Cowardy Smith, Alice's daughter of the Promo Tribe, Alice's Fixer, and the Badlands, who are all from my expert opinion. They're stupid. All right, let me just uh, turn this one off. And let me go and shimmy my way over here so no one can see me. So, let me see what I'm dealing with exactly. Can't even see for shit. Oh, I literally just sneaked right next to this machine. I am so reckless. Is that another machine? Holy shit, how many of these little shits do they have? Psst, hey, you're going to sleep. You got any good shit for me? Thank you. I'll take that. So far, so good with the sneak tactics. Oh, she's right there. Okay. Like it when people take away my right to choose. Always got a choice. A, we can get these orders He didn't see me. Okay. What are you fine? Uh, I'll take you. And they're gonna see a body pretty soon. Let's grab, Still grab. Breathing. Shh, shut up. You're not breathing. Oh my god, this is nice. I got to this guy just in time. No, we don't, silly. It's you long enough. Shh. Iris Tanner, I'm supposed to get you out of here. All right, this is nice. I love how I'm able to get them back to back. <laughs> Anyways, Iris. They didn't hurt you. No, we were still in the negotiation phase. Good. They made a pretty solid case, so it was only a matter of time. Push came to shove. I'd rather slave under Raffin than be chopped into little pieces. We best get a move on. I'm not going anywhere without my ride. It's sitting in the garage. That wasn't in the spec. At least tell me it's fast, this ride of yours. No, it wasn't the spec. And no, it's not particularly fast, either. Let's say it's between you and me, huh? I'll make it worth your while. We'll see how things play out. Let me just get this money first. Thank you. And also, where is the car? Is it here? Oh, it's in here! Hell yeah! Let's take it! Come on. Let's go. Let's get in. Alright, so yep, she's in here with me, and let's, uh... Ooh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit your car. Thanks for taking care of my ride. Don't mention yeah. it. Why didn't you want to work with Dakota before? I'm not crazy about losers. Might as well be pimps without the special favors. Right. Prefer lining up my appliance. Laying by my own rules. When you're a lone wolf, there's no fixers waiting to steal a cut of your hard-earned cash. So I take it this is an exception? And the last, hopefully. This is another smooth sailing mission. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't have a lot of side quests left. Meaning... Once everything is completed, I have the main mission to do. Holy shit, this car sucks. 
And the main mission I have left is literally the last main mission before the story ends. So, even though I've been complaining about Cyberpunk for God knows how many episodes now, I know for a fact once I do my last episode, I'm totally going to miss this so much. You know, miss hanging out with Judy, Pam, Miss Jackie, my boy. But other than that, I can't wait to see what's the next big RPG game that I'm playing. I have a couple of options that I'm still deciding on, but other than that, I'm gonna try and have fun as much as possible with Cyberpunk, so. All right, Iris, let's go. We're all set. Hasta luego. All right, let me talk to Dakota and we should be good from here. Shamai, sister. Dakota, Iris Tanner, as per your request. Sister. Cut the bullshit, all right? I'm no one's sister. Damn. Just tell me what I have to do. After that, we're even. She's not crazy about fixers. No horse likes its saddle until it's hungry. Only right. horse you've ever seen is in a picture book. Thanks for everything, B. Happy to return the favor sometime. Anytime, Just Tanner. make sure you get what she owes you. Of course. V has nothing to worry about. Thanks. Nice doing biz with you. I'm listening. All right, I gotta go. I'll see you. Damn, she's already smoking stressed out. Okay. All right. So, I have a bonus from the drop point. What's this? V, it's Tanner. Thanks for handling my ride. As a token of my appreciation, I stashed a little something for you in the drop point by the Sunset Motel. I reckon that makes us even. Radio, take care. Oh. This was the last contract you'll see from me, B. Thank you for everything. I'm glad our paths crossed and I hope they will again someday. I have a parting gift for you. It's already waiting for you in the garage. Take good care of her and think of me when you get behind the wheel. Safe travels, B. Holy shit. This is nice. I'm getting another new car. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me get my ride first. Cause you know I love my car. Alright, let me see. Well, first of all. Let me just check the menu work quick, because I definitely want to get to the drop point. Okay, on, on my way to the drop point, I'm curious to see exactly what Tanner left for me. And then after that, I'll go get the car that Dakota actually gave me as a gift. Which I'm pretty surprised, because I'm not... I was not expecting another car, honestly. But you know what? A gift is a gift. Who am I to just say no to that, you know? And we're here. What is this? Let me see. Oh, come on. I can't even... Oh, wait. Sorry. Okay, so apparently I'm carrying too much of my inventory, so... Let me just fix that real quick, and then we'll go and get the other reward. Okay, I'm in this garage, and I'm pretty curious to see what type of car Dakota gave me. Hello? Can I not get in? Holy... Wait, this is the car? Oh my god, it's cute! Okay. All right, this is this is like a nice beefier version of my first Nomad car. 
not bad. Let me let me test ride this bad boy here. Oh yeah, this is a real diesel car. I can tell. You know what? Let me see if I can just swing by Judy's house quickly. I, I definitely want to say hi to her at least. I gotta admit, the handling, I mean, it's a big car, so of course it's going to be a pain in the ass to do quick turns, but other than that, it's actually pretty, pretty comfy in here. Pretty roomy. Huge, but... Oh my god, the brakes. The brakes, I, uh, I don't know. But other than that, thank you Dakota for giving me this car. I appreciate it. Nice working with you. I feel like I could do a lot of serious damage with this with this thing. Let me just go upstairs and just say hi to my baby. Let me see here. Knock knock. Let's go. There's my girl, always sitting by the window. I wonder what she. I wonder what she's looking at. I was just thinking of you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. I mean... Nothing special, I, same old story. I'd rather hear about you. I do appreciate that one-liner, but other than that, I just wish that Cyberpunk would deliver a little bit more lines than the usual two or three. That's just my intake, though. Other than that... Damn. Get you a girl that looks at you like how Judy does. That's all, that's all I have to say, honestly. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.